Hello, welcome to this short video tour of a Solvente, a Halbergrassi 40 from 2003. Uh, Solvente is for sale by her original owners. They've owned her uh, from new obviously and sailed her in the Med, the Caribbean and Northern Europe. Uh, we just got the mast. She's a triple spreader, silver anodized rig from Selden, which uh, sports a fully battened Kemp mainsail, which was new in 2013. Um, she's also had a new tri-radial Genoa in 2013 and the step pack is also new in 2013. Uh, the fully battened main gives you a really powerful rig which means you can sail with this boat even in light airs. All the lines are here at the mast which keeps the coach roof clear. This also if you're doing blue water cruising which is what the 40 is really good at um, it's where you want lines really you want to be able to come up here and see what's going on with any reefs when you're entering bad weather um, she has a inner forestay and these are the running backstays here which can be rigged aft when in use loads of room to come past the shrouds a solar panel quite a large solar panel there keeping the batteries topped up big open foredeck uh, moving forward to the uh, Lumar electric winch here, uh, the anchor locker is open, there's 80 metres of chain in the anchor locker, a nice uh, swivel for the main anchor and you can see she has a stainless steel bowsprit, this is for use with the Elstrom furling cruising chute, there's the Furlex 300S furling gear for the headsail also. Give you an overview of the boat from the bow. So you can see wonderful teak decks and solvente. Lots of open space. Uh, ventilation is supplied by four Durard vents. There's two here on the coach roof, there's two behind the cockpit for the aft cabin. These hatches in the coach roof here, they all open as well. Even in the uh, heat of the Mediterranean and the Caribbean, you get a lot of air flowing through solvente. Just forward of the silver anodized screen, uh, sorry, the aluminium screen, there is a frame for a bimini which covers the cockpit. Aluminium frame tempered glass, opening section in the middle, and a canvas spray hood above. The canvas spray hood um, again was renewed in 2013. This provides a very warm, dry, and safe environment in the cockpit and also allows you to rig a extension which covers the entire, enclose the entire cockpit. So should you go sailing in colder climates, you can enclose this area, have the heating on down below, it becomes a very warm, comfortable place to sit. You can usually utilize this area in, uh, in bad weather. The main sheet track is directly behind the steering position. And there's the uh, configuration for the main sheet. The end of the boom. A large open space behind uh, the combing. There's a storage in there for fenders and lines. The gin and tonic seats on the push pits. She also has the gates, port and starboard, the guard wire gates. These are all extras added at the build stage. Uh, Solvente has her radar mounted on the backstay on a swivel mount. This allows the radar to stay horizontal in bad weather. Increasing the range, there's your antenna mask. Uh, integrated uh, swimming platform on the back uh, with a stainless steel boarding ladder. Let's give you a look at the steering position. Uh, here you can control the, obviously the engine controls are there, but there's also a remote for the anchor windlass. Bow thruster is controlled by the uh, floor buttons. Steering compass, autopilot. Instrumentation above the companionway. Uh, there's space for VHF radio, there's uh, cockpit speakers for the radio and the VHF, um, which you can hear now. And two standalone um, chart plotters, which give you redundancy while underway. The view forward, as you can see, is very good through the windscreen. If you are sailing in good weather, then this canvas component can be folded neatly away under a lovely blue cover. 
to further uh, increase ventilation to the cockpits, there's a, a lovely varnish table which can sit four people around and a deep cockpit locker in the cockpits. So down below on Solvente, um, we have the saloon area here. I'll just give you an overview of this space and then we'll look at it in a bit more detail. Uh, Solvente is the original layout, which means the head's compartment is by the companionway. The saloon is slightly pushed slightly further forward, but doesn't compromise on the space in the forepeak. So with the original layout, you get the usual sea galley, which is you see, know, in, know from Habarassis, uh, but also you, it's extended uh, to almost a linear galley. So you've got a huge amount of workspace there. The wooden bar inlaid into that workshop top um, gives you a lot more stowage. You can fill that with baskets and you can put the ingredients in there and other equipment you might need close to hand. A large refrigerating box with small freezer compartment and also stainless steel double sinks. Two burner hob, oven and grill. Large heads compartment, just next to companionway steps, like I said, this is really useful if you come off watch. In wet oilies, you can come straight in here and uh, take them off. You're not gonna drip wet seawater or rain throughout the uh, boat. Sea toilet, uh, it's electrically drained shower grate there. Obviously hot and cold water at the sink. There's a mirror on the bulkhead just above. Two cupboards for storage and an opening hatch. The chart table is forward facing. On, uh, on Solvente we have a huge amount of electronics. Uh, the AIS, we have the SatNav, uh, standalone GPS systems, SSB radio, Here's the switchboard. She has 765 amp hours in her batteries. Uh, these were new in 2013, AGM batteries, good quality, plenty of life left in them. Um, she also has a PC, which can be used using the Thrain and Thrain satellite communication. You can download emails anywhere you like, get grid files for your passage planning. On each side of the saloon, which is finished in deluxe blue upholstery, we have these large settees, which double up as berths. These are well over six foot long, these berths. Beautifully finished, there's solid mahogany all back there as well. A little reading light and a lee cloth beneath. Any crew's gonna be happy with that. Coming forward, you've got the V berth. Infill to make it into a large double. Storage on the starboard side in the form of a hanging locker. There's an opening hatch above this shot. Storage above the bed. Reading lights on both sides. Short, small vanity unit here. Five drawers. Plenty of storage beneath. It's been slightly modified to keep lines. Bow thruster installation is also here. I'd just like to give you a quick look inside the engine bay of Solvente. It's a large space um, in most Halbarassi yachts, center cockpit yachts. It's fully sound and heat insulated. They try and keep as many of the mechanical systems in this area to keep them all in one place, uh, out the way, so they're not gonna bother passengers or crew. It's really clean in here, really clean and tidy, being kept very well, very up together. Um, she has a 12 volt water maker, which can make 63 litres of water an hour. Um, she's shaft driven D255 engine, which has 2000 hours on the clock. There's a large um, high output alternator there, 160 amps. As I mentioned before, Solventi has a huge battery capacity, so you need that big alternator to keep them topped up. There's your 230 volt distribution panel. Moving aft from the engine compartment, we go into the main, the aft cabin, uh, vanity 
unit and hanging lockers on the starboard side. It's a two plus one arrangement. Opening hatches, port and starboard and above with fans. Large bed there and a mirror on the bulkhead. Underneath this bed there is some storage. Uh, there's also the steering quadrant and the batteries. There's a water maker under there as well.